Hi guys, Daz here with another episode of my top 10 selling comic books of the week. This time it's episode 5. So basically, CoverPrice.com launched recently and has quickly become a go-to spot for watching eBay trends on comics. They scour thousands of sales to culminate the data to spotlight the hottest selling comics. Here are this week's top 10 comics for the week of the 16th of November 2018. What have we got? Starting at number 10 is this book. Yeah, I have it. Well, kind of like I said, kind of. This is a Marvel Legends reprint of the Young Avengers. And this is at number 10. This is the first appearance of Kate Bishop. Yeah, Kate Bishop is supposedly going to be appearing in a upcoming Marvel movie, possibly Avengers 4 even. This is only mid-grade. I passed on the issue in question, the main first print, recently at a con at the start of the year for about a pound. And I regret it because this book is going slowly up and up. So the seven day trend on that book plus 97%. Weekly units sold of Young Avengers issue one, 26. 26 books have been sold. Average raw play price now, $17.17. The average graded sale, wow, it's going quick. A 9.8 CGC, $241, guys. Wow. Like I say, look out for this book, the first appearance of Kate Bishop. On to number nine. Do I have it? No. What book is it? It is this. It is The Punchline, issue one from Antarctic Press, The Variant. The variant cover guys okay not the regular but the variant there are been 28 books of the variant punchline issue one sold this week 28 the average raw sale is 52 dollars and 83 cents wow no great books at the moment but like i say it's a very low printed book the seven day uh, trend is unavailable at the moment on to number eight on the list. Do I have it? Yes, I do have it. Delighted to have this one, guys. This is Rags, like I say, issue two, another Antarctic press book that is going extremely well on the secondary market. The seven day trend plus 69%, guys. 29 copies of this book have been sold. Average raw sales, $28.66. There are no graded copies at the moment, but like I say, it's a small press hot series and it has a potentially lower print run than the first issue. And the fish, first issue was going crazy. On to number seven. Do I have number seven? I don't, sadly. And this is Miss Marvel issue one. Yeah, that's number seven on this week's charts, guys. I believe my good friend Lewis at Comic Vantage. He sold a 9.8 Miss Marvel, I believe. Uh, the seven day trend on that book is plus 68%. Now there have been 31 copies of Miss Marvel, one sold. The average raw price now is $72.25. Wow, that has gone up a lot. The average graded sale at a 9.0, $249. The reason it's going up is obviously because of the Captain Marvel movie, and it's just a key issue. On to number six on the charts. Do I have number six? Oh yeah, I have number six. And I have two copies of number six. We're in with Eternals. Issue one, guys. The seven day trend plus 120%. There have been 33 copies of this book sold this week. Now the average rule sale 
is 68 bucks. Wow, $68. Average graded sale at a 9.4 CGC, $185. The reason is the Eternals first appearance in a key book. And of course, Eternals is going to be in the upcoming phase four of the MCU. I may have an alert soon about them. Up next, this is a surprising one. It's broke the top 10, but I'm delighted to own it. And that is at number five, Amazing Spider-Man issue 361. Yeah, it's broke the top 10, guys. The seven day trend plus 97%. There have been 33 copies of this book sold this week. 33 copies. The average raw sale is 61 bucks. I paid 50 for this copy. For this copy, it's about an 8.59, um, and that t now is a steal because uh, you, you go to a con now, you're going to be pay paying probably close to 100. Like I say, average raw is 61. The average grail graded at 9.6 is surprisingly only 170. So uh, if you were to uh, get a slabbed copy, you, would, you wouldn't be breaking the bank. Uh, like I say, the main reason this is. Hot is because Woody Harrelson has a cameo in the Venom movie, if you didn't know. Well, you should do by now. It's been out ages. And uh, he is going to be appearing in the Venom sequel. And there is a new Carnage series starting this Wednesday, where apparently Carnage gets a new look. I think it's Web of Carnage. On to number four on our list. What have we got? Do I own it? I do own it. Yeah, it's been a good week for Daz. It's Spawn. Yeah, blast from the past. Spawn, issue one. The seven-day trend, plus 111%. There have been 37 copies of this book sold this week. The average raw sale is now $15.74. Like I say, this is a mass-produced book, guys. This is, there are hundreds of, uh, well, thousands of this uh, book out there. Well over... Uh, 300,000 I believe the average graded uh, sale now at 9.8 though is going for some coin and that is 118 bucks so 9.8 CGC is 118 dollars now obviously there's a spawn movie coming starring Jamie Foxx so look out for that on to issue three do I own issue three yeah he's still there for the second week running, Punchline, issue one. Now, I've read the book. I didn't think too highly of it. But, like I say, Antarctic Press are on fire. And uh, this is the regular cover. There have been 37 copies of this book sold this week. The average raw sale is now $23.23. There are no graded copies of this at the moment. But, like I say, this is an extremely low-printed book. And it is going to be crossing over soon with rags. So that is going to be a monster buck in the new year where Punchline crosses over with rags. There are no details on the seven day trend at the moment. So that was number three. Number two. Antarctic Press all the way, guys, isn't it? Here we go again. Rags one. Still going very nicely. Rags one. Like I say, it's a hard to find book. It's a small press book. And they say it's selling well because of underwear. I don't know. I think it's like a zombie tale, isn't it? I haven't read it, my uh, rags two yet. The seven day trend is plus 147%. The average raw sale now for rags one is 140 bucks. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The average graded one, which makes little sense to me, at 9.6, is 150 bucks. Go figure. But um, I read recently that uh, Rags 1 is going back to make a lot more copies. So people who have paid a lot of money might be struggling a little bit. Um, yeah, loads more copies of Rags 1 are going to be circulating soon, I believe. From the publisher itself and number one in the charts 
It's been there since the beginning, hasn't it? I cannot shake it. Batman damned. It's still there, guys. Still going strong. I'm going to have to get it for Christmas, I think. Because this book is going up and up and up. Plus, seven day trend is plus 85%. 86 copies of Batman Dam sold this week. Wow. The average raw sale is now $68.85. It was dropping a couple of weeks ago. It's gone back up. The average graded 9.8, 204 bucks. Like I said, there was a 10.0 recently that sold for $1,800. It's a long term winner. It's the Bat Wiener or Bata Wang. And the raw prices, like I said, are just going up and up. So I'm going to have to try and get that for Christmas, I think. That's it. That's does his hot top 10 of the week. I hope you enjoyed it. Can you beat me? How many have I got this week? I got one. I got two. Three. Four. Five. Six out of ten for Daz this week. Oh, my days is a good week. Can you beat my six? I'd like to find out. Bye for now.